Well, I believe you, if you should know where we are at at this point, since we've come here every time we've been down here. Welcome to day eight of Adventurecation 4. The store. So yet another place that doesn't want me to film <laughs> in their in their store. I mean, it's a store of knickknacks and odds and ends and Polly's Island souvenirs. It's like I don't get it. I guess I should just start asking when I go into every store if it's okay to film for a silly family vacation YouTube video well you faithful few as i mentioned it is day eight here we are halfway through our adventure already we have come to the hammock shops here today We've got a beautiful day today so day seven was a lot of sitting around inside because it stormed like crazy down here lots and lots of rain backyard of polly's pine tree retreat was flooded oops Rugged Mountain Mister and I watched football all day long. Can't beat that. Well, that kind of interaction there in the store just makes me want to not record it all, but I'll do it anyway. What's the worst that can happen? They tell me to stop again. I really should be used to it by now. I very rarely use the Insta360 Flow app on the phone, mainly because it doesn't access the Samsung 60 frame per second camera. But lo and behold, I opened it up to uh, calibrate the gimbal and it had 4K 60 available, so that is awesome. <laughs> it also starts tracking you automatically when you're on the front facing camera, which is cool. It knows it's tracking me. Ah, oh, it found me again. <laughs> it found me again. Look, so you put your feet down, even though you're too short, and then you just fall. All right, that's enough hammock shopping. On to whatever is next. Well, day eight running around continues. We're kind of out doing some little bit of research for Holly's Pine Tree Retreat. Trying to help them figure out maybe some stuff to add to their bathroom to make it a little, a little better. But we're heading into good old Lowe's like we have up in back home. I'm gonna turn the gimbal off because I don't want to get yelled at again for filming in a super secret location. Okay, mister, we're on a secret mission. Do you see anybody looking at us while we're filming? No. Okay, so we're looking for a sink that might help make more room in the frog room that we're staying at. And I think I found them. I was thinking these would give a little bit more room and a little bit more functionality to that bathroom. They're in the frog room. Now I'm gonna use the extendable stick on this Insta360 flow to get a better view of the sinks. There was a Lowe's guy over there. Might have seen us recording. Take him out, mister.
I've got intel that there's a Lowe's guy approaching. So I think we have the information we need. We can take these home with us. Maybe show them the video. Shh. Okay, mister. I think we got the information we need. Now it's time to get out of here without getting spotted. He's checking our six. We good? We have to return something that we borrowed briefly. See if we can do that without getting caught. made it mister I think I'm gonna start doing all of my public filming like that like we're on some kind of super secret mission because everybody's products in their stores are like you know national treasures or something all right we're back outside again I think it's safe to film I'm gonna be saucy about that for the rest of today at least so then again while I was taking this shot right here I had a lady come up to me and asked me what it was and where she could get one. After thinking a little bit, I thought maybe these were at uh, Best Buy, currently sporting the Insta360 Flow. Sure enough, I looked up Myrtle Beach, Best Buy. They had some Insta360 Flows available. So that was kind of a redeeming thing for the afternoon. Because technology's awesome. Gimbals are cool. Oh, we're starting to lose our daylight. It's a little after 5 p.m. We're still out and about, looking Ooh. around at stuff. Kind of some pre-Christmas shopping, shopping. Well, hello, you faithful few. Well, it is day 12, you faithful few, of Adventurecation 4. My mom, Mr. and I came to the beach for some football throwing. Semi-warm day, a little breezy, sun's behind the clouds, but you can still sort of see it. This has definitely been a lot less filming on this Adventurecation. Rugged Mountain's sister and I went out yesterday and did some Christmas shopping. We talked about it and we decided not to film any of it. Rugged Mountain, Mr. and I went out today. Again, we talked about it, decided not to film any of it. Totally fine by me. So we just went out and got Christmas presents for everybody. Of course, I had to make a stop at GameStop. Though we didn't end up getting anything from there this time. Also, forgot to mention, just a couple days ago, like day nine, I think, I actually did start writing Rugged Mountain Mystery's book. This one is going to be based on excellence. That is one of the Knight's code words. I think I might be like four or five pages in out of like 14, so I need to finish a fair amount more of that before heading back home.
One other thing I forgot to mention, you faithful few. I don't know if you've noticed it lately, but I have not had any drone shots in any of our videos lately. And that is because as of September 15th, uh, remote ID is required on your drones. And I don't have remote ID on my DJI Mini 2. Where's that? I haven't even bothered bringing it. I didn't even bring it down here to South Carolina because it's technically illegal to fly it. So I either need to get myself a remote ID module to stick on the Mini 2, which of course messes with flight dynamics and battery time and that sort of thing, uh, or upgrade to the Mini 3 or the Mini 4 where they have the remote ID built in already. And financially, now is not the time to be buying a drone, especially the 4, which is like $1,200 for the fly more combo. And of course, I do want to fly more. Oh, well, you faithful few. Talking about Mr. and I's football shenanigans are just about over. Probably gonna head back to Polly's Pine Tree Retreat. We got the sun setting back there. It's looking beautiful. We're gonna now head on back. This may be the end of day 12. It's a Friday, by the way. Got the weekend coming up. Cincinnati Bengals play tomorrow, so we'll probably be inside watching football <laughs> tomorrow for most of the day. Right about Mr. just down there, rinsing off his Crocs. The beautiful surf and Atlantic Ocean behind him. So as we wrap this day up, it is actually December 22nd. And so, hope all of you faithful few are getting all of your Christmas shopping done and getting ready for Christmas here in about three more days. All right, he's back from washing his Crocs off. It's time to head back to the subs.